Hey, Balin, it's Trevor Gross from SeaTigers.com. Um, obviously, it was a, a tough loss for y'all to swallow at Notre Dame. Um, how, how do you how do you reconcile wanting to just put that behind you and, and kind of flush that game and uh, move on versus um, doing self scouting and and figuring out you know what went wrong and, and wanting to improve? Um, biggest thing is we we say it every week is uh, it's the biggest game of the year because it's the next one. Um, and we, really, we truly believe that. And we, after that game, we'll learn from our mistakes, uh, what we did wrong, what we can do better, and just improve on the fundamentals. And then keep focusing on Clemson um, like we have all year. Just focus on what we can do. And at the end of the day, um, we know if we can continue to work and put the work, in, put the work in each and every week, we'll be better from that, from that game. What, what were some of the things that uh, stood out to you on film that, you know, you think that um, that y'all will need to correct? A um, bunch of third down conversions um, that they made. Uh, Ian Brooke made some great plays, extending some plays. And uh, being able to contain him um, from making some of those plays that led to field goals, which would be the difference in the game. And, um, and then some of just being better situationally, um, fitting the run a little bit better. Um, being a little bit smarter, recognizing some things when it comes to formations and situations uh, throughout the game, just the game within the game that we can be a little, a little bit better on. And then um, the back end, just being a little bit a sounder and fundament fundamentally better. You mentioned um, Ian Book and, and his ability to scramble and, and extend plays. Um, Jordan Travis, Florida State's quarterback, uh, seems to, to be even maybe more athletic and, and even better runner. Uh, of course, he doesn't have the same experience level that, that Ian Book has. Uh, but what, what kind of a challenge is it, is it going to be facing another um, exceptionally mobile quarterback? Uh, same thing. Jordan Travis is a great player. Um, he fits their system. He fits their system well, and they're doing a great job with them. With him, especially in their offensive game, they do some great things. And uh, I, we've definitely seen it on tape last week and this week, and his ability to move and run. Uh, he's very explosive. I mean, he can he can make a play from nothing and then turn it into a touchdown and like that. So uh, looking forward to the challenge that he brings to the table. Um, we're excited. We know we know it's another big, a big like athlete back there that can really make those unique plays and um, prepare for him the best we can this week. Balin, uh, Larry Williams with TigerIllustrated.com here. Uh, in your mind, where is Skowski's absence sort of felt the most, uh, uh, w you know, when he's not out there doing all the things he does? Uh, I would say definitely just during practice, uh, week in, week out, like the, the things that he brings to the table, um, his knowledge, his experience on the practice field is totally is different. Um, <clears throat> I mean, he's obviously a great player, physical player. Um, and even on the game field, recognizing things and helping, uh, helping younger guys and uh, just his leadership overall. He's a great player. He's the, he's the leader of this defense. And um, just week in and his ability to come in and recognize things and help guys, even he's out, he's still leading when he's not, he's not I mean, he's here, but he's, uh, he's leading when he's out and not practicing. So he's doing a great job and we're looking forward to having him back soon. With the, Injury list being what it what it is or has been. What's like the cumulative effect? Um, you know, like late in a in a in a close game when you have, you know, various positions defensively. You don't have your normal rotations. You know, so you don't have as fresh of bodies. Is the cumulative effect of that just sort of more uh, more mistakes? I guess um, that that wouldn't be made. I guess if they're you know, more of a rotation going in a sort of a more yeah, healthier we, time. We haven't had the exact same starting group of defensive backs, I think, all year, uh, maybe one or two games. Um, so it, it comes for a chemistry thing, I think, um, just being looking back there and seeing the guys that are normally back there. And then another game, there's different people up there, back there. I mean, they're all, they're all prepared and they all do the great job. Um, but just continue to get better and each guy focusing, really focusing on doing their job, um, not focusing on the like the bigger picture, just doing their job and not trying to do, not trying to do too much. Um, 
so I don't, I think chemistry and cohesiveness would, is a big part of it. Just having the guys back there. Um, in another the dang game, seeing guys go back. I mean, the guys that stepped in did a great job and um, they'll learn from the mistakes, like I said earlier, um, and get and being able to recognize some of the things that they did wrong in formations and they'll be better and they're still young and will continue to grow and get better each and every week. Hey, it's Trevor again. You're, you're talking about the absence of Skalski. I was, I was actually going to ask you, you, you seem like uh, the two of you are, are birds of the same feather. Um, do you just, do you miss just having him out there next to you at practice day in, day out? Yeah, like I said, he, he brings a, a focused intensity that's unmatched. He's a great leader. Um, just be him, be him being out, out there to recognize things and call it out is uh, very special, makes him the player that he is. And then Jake's doing a great job too. I, I don't put, the, put that apart. Jake goes out there and does his job and communicates and leads the defense as well. But yeah, Skowski, Skowski definitely makes a difference. He's a great player and here in a couple of weeks, he'll be back and you know, we'll, I think we're continuing to get better and healthier and uh, it'll make a difference. Malin, uh, Larry Williams again. Uh, for, for Trenton Simpson, uh, I mean, as you probably know, it's very rare for first-year guys to, to play significant snaps at, at linebacker. I'm just curious. I, he played 75 snaps at Notre Dame. That's quite a trial by fire um, for a freshman playing yeah. linebacker. Uh, what, what's your observations of what, – what must that be like, I guess, is my question. Uh it's overwhelming. It can be overwhelming, but uh, Trenton's a special player. I mean, he has so much athletic ability, super explosive. He doesn't really know yet um, how to use it to his – like, he uses it, but he doesn't know when, like, how powerful and explosive he is. Uh, but overwhelming, he did a great job. Uh, you can tell a little bit. He got a little – he got a little fatigued. Um, but once he once he gets, gets going and the moment's – Obviously, not too big for him. He did perfectly fine. He'll learn from the mistakes that he made in the game as well. But um, he did a great job with it, and uh, we're obviously looking forward to see what he can do next year, this spring. I mean, he's to just continually to get better. Um, <clears throat> he takes coaching very well. He's a very coachable guy. He uh, he's not going to pout and bow down. He'll he'll take it and keep going and try to get better each and every day. And that's what we need. I'm assuming you can think back to when you were at the same point as a true freshman and, and imagine what that must, what that must have, what that might've been like for you if you're having to play 75 snaps at Notre Dame. Yeah, that would uh, <laughs> probably would have been good, <laughs> but he handled it very well. Um, he's fit for it. I mean, he's a great dynamic player and he'll be a special player here in a couple of years. Alan, it's Trevor again. Um, Florida State uh, went with the Wildcat package on offense um, several times on Saturday with, with a lot of success and with uh, with Corbin back there taking the snap. Uh, just, just what kind of a challenge does, does that formation present as a linebacker? Uh, they have great backs. I think Travis and their backs are the strength of their team and some of the tight ends. Um, have a very explosive, very powerful, powerful backs, and uh, we're looking forward to that. Um, they're great players. Uh, they did a lot of different things out of the Wildcat formations and out of those out of those formations, and um, it's just something we got to prepare for, and we'll be ready. Are there any more questions for Balon? Yeah, one more for. Uh... Larry Williams again. Not to rehash Notre Dame too much, but have you ever seen a better job of blitz pickup than, than they put forth in that game that night? Uh, they did a great job. Um, obviously, they're a very cohesive group. They're older guys, and uh, they've been together for a while. Uh, they did a really good job. Uh, we knew that going into the game, that they're going to be really good, physical, and uh, they picked it up nice. We, uh, we can do better. Um, I don't think I think we can do a lot better at some of the things we did and uh, just understanding blitzing and where to be, where to use our hands, and just technique stuff to be a lot better to be able to win those matchups. They did a great job though. And um, obviously they came out, 
over the top, but um, we're looking forward to just getting better at those things that we can be better at blitzing and how to disguise a little bit more, stuff like that.